The king of Babel made Sadqiyahu king over Yehuda, but Sadqiyahu rebelled against the king of Babel. Of the books called Kings, the second, chapter 25. And it was in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month, that Nabuchodonosor, king of Babel, came, he and all his army, against Yerushalem, and encamped against it, and they built forts against it round about. So the city was besieged to the eleventh year of King Serkiahu. On the ninth day of the fourth month, the famine became mighty in the city, so that there was no bread for the people of the land. Then a breach was made in the city, and all the men of war fled by night by the way of the gate between the two walls, which was by the king's garden. Now the Kashdim were against the city round about, and the king went by the way of the Araba. But the army of the Kashdim pursued after the king and overtook him in the plains of Yericho, and all his army was scattered from him. Then they took the king and carried him up to the king of Babel to Rablah, and they gave judgment upon him. And they slew the sons of Tzedekiyahu before his eyes, and blinded the eyes of Tzedekiyahu, and bound him in fetters, and carried him to Babel. Now in the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, which was the nineteenth year of King Nabuchodonosor, king of Babel, came Nabu Zarahadan, the captain of the guard, a servant of the king of Babel, to Yerushalem. And he burnt the house of Yahweh, and the king's house, and all the houses of Yerushalem, even every great house, burnt he with fire. And all the army of the Kashdim that were with the captain of the guard broke down the walls of Yerushalem round about, and the residue of the people that were left in the city, and those that fell away that fell to the king of Babel, and the residue of the multitude did Nabu Zarahadan, the captain of the guard, carry away captive. But the captain of the guard left of the poorest of the land to be vine dressers and land workers. And the pillars of copper that were in the house of Yahweh, and the bases and the copper wash pool that were in the house of Yahweh, did the Kashdim break in pieces and carried the copper of them to Babel. And the pots and the shovels and the snuffers and the spoons and all the vessels of copper wherewith they served took they away. And the fire pans and the basins, that which was of gold in gold and that which was of silver in silver, the captain of the guard took away. The two pillars the one washpool and the bases which Shalomo had made for the house of Yahweh, the copper of all these vessels was without weight. The height of the one pillar was eighteen cubits, and a capital of copper was upon it, and the height of the capital was three cubits, with network and pomegranates upon the capital round about, all of copper. And like these had the second pillar with network. And the captain of the guard took Sharayah the chief priest, and Tophoniyahu the second priest, and the three keepers of the threshold. And out of the city he took an officer that was set over the men of war, and five men of them that saw the king's face who were found in the city, and the scribe, the captain of the host, who mustered the people of the land, 
and sixty men of the people of the land that were found in the city. And Nabu Zarahadan, the captain of the guard, took them and brought them to the king of Babel to Rablah. And the king of Babel smote them and put them to death at Rablah in the land of Hamat. So Yehuda was carried away captive out of his land. And as for the people that were left in the land of Yehuda, whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, had left, even over them he made Gedoliahu, the son of Achikam, the son of Shaphan, governor. Now, when all the captains of the forces, they and their men, heard that the king of Babel had made Gedoliahu governor, they came to Gedoliahu to Mathepa, even Yishma'ahel, the son of Nathaniah, and Yohanan, the son of Qareh, and Sharayah, the son of Tanahumat, the Natofati, and Yehazoniyahu, the son of the Ma'akati, they and their men. And Godoliyahu swore an oath to them and to their men, and said to them, Fear not because of the servants of the Kashdim. Dwell in the land and serve the king of Babel, and it shall be well with you. But it was in the seventh month that Yishma'ahel, the son of Nathaniah, the son of Elishama, of the seed royal, came, and ten men with him, and smote Godoliahu, so that he died and the Yehudim and the Kashdim that were with him at Mathepah. And all the people, both small and great, and the captains of the forces, arose and came to Mithraim, for they were afraid of the Kashdim. And it was in the seven and thirtieth year of the captivity of Jehoiachin, king of Yehuda, in the twelfth month, on the seven and twentieth day of the month, that Hawil Morodak, king of Babel, in the year that he began to reign, did lift up the head of Jehoiachin, king of Yehuda, out of prison. And he spoke kindly to him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babel and changed his prison garments, and Jehoiachin did eat bread before him continually all the days of his life. And for his allowance there was a continual allowance given him of the king, every day a portion, all the days of his life.